Security guards are employed by businesses and organizations often for two main reasons, to deter threats such as theft and vandalism, and to deal with these issues if they arise. But what are security guards legally allowed to do? As they're employed to deal with crime, it's often believed that they have the same or similar rights and powers as those that work in the police force. However, this is not the case. Security guards have no more rights or legal authority than members of the general public. You could even deny speaking to a security guard if you didn't want to. This, of course, raises further questions on what it is precisely that a security guard is allowed to do when dealing with customers or potential threats. Like any other member of the public, security guards are allowed to perform a citizen's arrest if they have reasonable grounds for suspicion of the person they plan on arresting. Although, there are certain conditions that the situation must meet in order for the citizen's arrest to be a legal one. These come under Section 24A of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act 1984. These being, they witness or have reasonable grounds to suspect that a person has committed a crime, they witness or have reasonable grounds to suspect that a person is in the act of committing a crime, to protect a person from causing physical injury to themselves or others, to prevent a person from damaging the property or causing a loss to the business or organisation. They believe that it's not practical in that moment for a police constable to take the arrest instead of themselves, to prevent a person from running away and leaving the scene before a police constable arrives to assume responsibility for them. Force used by a security guard must be of a reasonable amount. So in that case, this means that any levels of force such as a physical restraint and grabbing must only be used when completely necessary and when in the process of detaining someone. This could be if you attempt to escape after committing an offence or if they believe that you could cause damage to yourself or others in the vicinity. A security guard is not allowed to search you or your possessions without your consent if you're present and conscious. This includes searching your bag and searching your car. This also applies to security guards who believe that they have caught a shoplifter, as they too are not permitted to conduct a forced search if the person does not give them permission. In this scenario, they would have to detain the suspected shoplifter until a police constable arrives and can conduct one. However, there are some scenarios in which a search could be made without the person's consent. These being, if a bag or any other type of belonging or possession has been left unattended in a suspicious circumstance, then they have the right to search it as it could pose a threat to the safety of those nearby. If the person is unconscious and they're trying to identify them in order to help them, then the security guard is allowed to search their bag for this. If a security guard asks you to allow them to conduct a search of your bag and you refuse them, then they are fully within their rights to forbid you from entering the premises, whether that be a club, bar or otherwise. This is often a safety standard rule set by many types of businesses that run throughout the night. Can a security guard carry weapons within the UK? The short answer is no. As security guards have the same rights and legal authority as the general public, this means that they cannot carry any form of weaponry. This includes, but is not limited to, batons, guns, tasers and pepper spray. Security guards are allowed to carry handcuffs and use them to help detain people when necessary, although it is recommended that they have proper training before being able to use them whilst on the job, so that they can use them safely and avoid injuring either themselves or the detained person in the process. In summary, security guards in the UK have the same authority and rights as any other UK citizen, as they do not get any extra power or privileges like the police force. Their presence alone often acts as a deterrent for potential thieves and vandals, but if a situation arises, they are well trained and equipped to identify and deal with it quickly and calmly. For those interested in hiring a security guard, region security guarding provide quality manned guarding and mobile patrol services nationwide for many different industries and sectors. Request a free quote today at www.regionsecurityguarding.co.uk.